Hi there, Scorpio. I want to go ahead and get into a reading for couples, for partnerships. Whatever comes out, comes out. Um, as you know, a lot of my readings are not fluffy, so sometimes weird shit comes out and that is what it is. If it resonates, it resonates. Feel free to like the video, um, share, subscribe, whatever, comment. Um, if you like, it does help my channel grow. I appreciate it. And um, feel free to check your other readings if you're if your messages are there, okay? <clears throat> Show me energy for the sign of Scorpio. Oh my goodness. Okay, everybody's getting these two cards for some reason, so why not you? <laughs> you have the Two of Cups as well as the Moon here, Scorpio. And for your partner, you have the Queen of Swords. So overall here right now, Scorpio, if this is a newer situation, I feel like you are very uncertain about your feelings and what they actually mean in a situation. Um, and if you're partnered already, you may be concerned about like, well, what do I mean to this person? What, what do I bring to them? Like, how do they see me? How do they view me? Because you have somebody that's got their, like the queen of swords, if this is their energy, which it is, um, it's saying it's putting up boundaries. It's very like dry. It's cold right now is the energy that I pick up from this card and here it's like you want to be expressive in love. You want to be like open to that. You want to feel all the feelings and express all the expressions. And yet you're met with this cold person. Um, yeah, it's just kind of like um, a very uncomfortable situation. It feels like. Um, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. It just feels like you want to be very effusive here. And this person has their back towards you. It's very uncomfortable, actually. Um, okay, so can you show me Scorpio's energy then? More cards. Three, three cards for Scorpio. Okay, yeah. You have the Six of Pentacles. You have the Page of Wands in reverse. <laughs> and now you're coming up with the Queen of Swords. Interesting energy, Scorpio. Interesting energy. It's like you're, you're like not getting what you want, so you throw a fit. I mean, and some of you, I don't know, I don't want to like minimize that, but it's like for some of you, it's like you're trying to give realistically, you're trying to give yourself to this person, you're giving your energy to this person and their lack of reciprocation or their like coldness right now, it like rebuffs you. And so with the, with the, um, it's like you're trying flirtation, you're trying like all the things that would work. And it's like here, you're just being rebuffed, but it's like, but why? Like I have all these feelings and everything. I'm very curious to see what this person's feelings are, or whatever's going on here. But now it's like, you're turning into the queen of swords. It's like their cold exterior has kind of put out the flame over here to a certain degree. And so now you've got your guard up. It's like two people mirroring each other when there's a deep, deep emotional love, but also an emotional confusion on your part, Scorpio, is how I want to say it. There's an emotional confusion because it's like, well, where do I stand? What do I mean to this person? Like, what, what can I do to mean more? Like, it's that kind of energy, Scorpio. And I feel like um, you are not getting what you need here. And so it's like you kind of are trying all the avenues, but it's leaving you salty. Can you show me this person that Scorpio is dealing with, please? You have the Nine of Swords here. So 
whatever this person is dealing with in their life, there's high anxiety. You have the Prince of Pentacles. This is the, the Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving energy here. Slow moving energy. Show me one more for this person. Oh, you're getting two here. So you're getting the Emperor and you're getting Judgment here. The energy between the two of you is the Three of Wands. So patience in the process, Scorpio. Um, uh, for the, for the judgment card here to be showing up with the emperor, two major arcanas for sure. But like, this is how this person rules their world. This person is needing to find a different way to, I guess, establish themselves, reestablish themselves, whatever this is. But this is a person that has themselves on their mind. It's like your emotions, yes, they're there, but that's not where they are. It's not on their radar. I feel like this person is very much about like the practical matters of getting things in order for things to run smoothly. This is a very slow moving energy here with the Knight of Pentacles. There's a lot of anxiety on this person's mind right now that is, I feel, unrelated to you, but it's showing up in ways that affect you because you're trying to be present. You're trying to be the thing you're trying to be supportive you're trying to do the right thing in the partnership and i don't doubt that you are but this person is almost like hyper focused on themselves right now and in a way it may be for the longevity of this connection scorpio but that's down the road and this person is trying to figure out how to make power plays so that down the road looks good but by them doing that, they also sacrifice the warmth, the emotion, the expression. All right. Can you show me the Nine of Swords? What's going on with this person's mind? Oh, God. The Queen of Swords again. Judgment and the Queen of Swords with the Nine of Swords. Like, this person here, Queen of Swords showing up in this reading three times now. So it tells you that there's there's an element of fairness but there's also an element here scorpio where it's like it's kind of cold it's kind of prickly it's not the warm effusive person that you got to know in the beginning i'm not sure what's going on with this person but they're mentally frustrated right now and just shut off for the queen of swords to be clarifying the queen of swords twice like they're shut off they want to deal with the practical sides of things. They want to deal with the base natures of things, but like nothing more. This person doesn't have the output for that. And judgment is here twice in this energy for them. So they're making a lot of decisions in their life. They're, um, I feel like that is where their bandwidth is, Scorpio. I don't think it's something that you should take personally, but it feels like they only have so much room and they have to prioritize that for what they need it for. Selfish, but, you know, show me them for, yeah, this person has their mind on, their, their eye on the prize, life, whatever is, it's the eye on the prize. Yeah, king of wands, bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries type person as well. This person is gearing up towards something big in their life right now, but they're also having to cut things out. And unfortunately, that may also include their energy towards you, Scorpio. It feels like there's a big block here and it's like you're trying all the things and you're trying to be here and there for this person, but it's just like kind of bumping up against a wall. But it also feels like this person has an eye on the prize. They have a direction that they want to go in and they're fiercely protecting that. And I feel that that's something that also it considers you. It keeps you safe at night. Like it, it, It's the it's the uh, what is that? The, the big picture rather than the small views. It's like they are a big picture thinker and they're trying to do that. But right now their energy is there. Can you show me the six of pentacles here for Scorpio, please? Two 
two of pentacles here. Yeah, you need to give <laughs> you need to give your energy to other things right now other than this person. Okay? You need to find a hobby. You need to find something to put your energy into other than this person. Something that's also going to appreciate and build within time, but your energy just being focused here on this person is going to continue to leave that sour taste in your mouth because it's like you're not going to get what you want out of the situation right now. All right? Um, just be mindful of that right now. You, your energy, you need to utilize that for other things. So give according, give fairly. And if this person is pulled back clearly with this queen of swords here, you're pulling your energy back. But when you do that, don't do it with malice. Don't do it with anger or frustration or like feeling like you're just let down, put that energy elsewhere, get a side hobby. Do something with your creativity. Do something. But the energy is one of, um, so you're just not pouring everything into them. You need to take back some of your time, some of your energy. Show me the night. Show me the, thank you. Show me, oh my God. Show me the page of wands in reverse. So you got two cards popping out here. You have the King of Swords in reverse and you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Um, yeah, I mean, you're dealing with a, an energy that's become very cold and very calculating. Um, I almost want to say that be mindful, like if you're grandstanding or if you're like pulling yourself away and like doing so in like a catty problematic way, like be mindful about that just because it feels like you're potentially like through your pain and your ego expression, you might be also like sacrificing something that you can't see. You might be sacrificing an awesome situation that you can't see because it's not dancing in your face, but it's in the works. Show me the Queen of Swords here. Place her in the Scorpio. You have Temperance here. It's slow, but it's an integration here. If you truly love this person, there's time that's going to need to happen here. There's time getting on the same page with one another. There's time in regard to what this person is dealing with within the level of bandwidth that they have available to give to you. There's also a message here for redirecting your energy so that it's supportive of you, but also maybe even it, contrib it contributes to whatever this connection is. So, because it feels like this person is working on contributing here, they just don't have the availability to give you the energy that they may have once did. It just feels like a it's like a hot and cold and then like a setback or something. It's like, well, I thought I stood here. I thought I was like this to you. I thought I meant this to you. And it's like, well, you do, but I can't do that right now. It's really weird. <laughs> it's really weird. It's like, well, why can't you do that right now? You've been doing it. And it's like, well, I can't do that right now. It's like, okay, okay. But rather than get bent out of shape about it, just go about your own stuff and deal with your own things. Can you give me one for, um, yeah, please. Yeah, this, it feels like this kind of comes out of the blue. Like everything was doing okay. And then it's like, suddenly this person shifts into like this, like mm, kind of cold period where they're dealing with themselves. Show me this energy for Scorpio. Show me the two of cups here moving forward for Scorpio. Do they get more clarity? Yeah, you're dealing with the Emperor here. <sighs> the Emperor and the Eight of Pentacles. The Emperor is here. You're, you're dealing with somebody who is in planning mode for everything for you. <laughs> for them, but for you. But, like, don't let your ego get out of whack here because you're not seeing things quick enough. You're not. It, it's, like, it's like you were warm with me and now you're cold with me. And it's like, okay, talk about it but figure out the why <laughs> and don't sacrifice an opportunity just because you can't see it. 
All right, so just be mindful. And if this is a horrible situation, you don't want to be part of it, then don't be. But I feel like you're kind of like second guessing what you mean to this person at this point, like what your feelings are, what your position is. Like, like you have position, you have clout, you've got a reason for being here. This person's showing up as the emperor twice, but work, 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 work. They're putting their efforts towards things that are tangible for the both of you. Um, maybe they just don't have the bandwidth to do a ton of emotions on top of that. Either way, this person's energy is very much themselves. So you need to find some way to separate your emotions from your actions, from all of it, and uh, from this person so that you can be present with them, for them, but also in your own life, in your own way, on your own. Okay? That's when things come together. That's when the elements start to blend. All right. Um, yeah, I will talk to you later. I hope this is helpful. Feel free to like the video if it made sense. Take care. Bye, Scorpio.